oligopolies where few firms dominate an industry the industry may have quite a few firms or not uh, very many but the key thing is that the large proportion of the industry's output is shared by a small number of firms what constitute a small number varies but a common indicator of concentration in industry is known as the concentration ratio when we look at concentration ratios they are expressed in the form of crx where x represents the number of the largest firms for example if we say cr4 this means that we are looking at the percentage of market share or output held by the largest four firms in the industry the higher the percentage the more concentrated is the market power of the four largest firm some good examples of oligopoly could be in Pakistan the car industry is dominated by three firms Toyota Suzuki and Honda and they control almost 80 to 90% of the market which means the concentration ratio of uh, three firm or CR3 will be roughly 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 now this means that when you look at um, oligopoly firms they have significant market power and because of uh, huge economies of scale they control the market and therefore makes it difficult for new firms to enter let's look at some of the features of oligopoly the first one we want to look at is the nature of the product nature of product in oligopoly could be identical like petrol or sugar where the product is almost exactly the same and only the names of the companies are different like for example in the case of oil companies selling petrol in pakistan you might have uh, shell or pso but the oil or the product is the same while there could also be a possibility of some firms producing highly differentiated products like in the case of motor cars Toyota and uh, Suzuki and uh, Honda are making differentiated products which are uh, pretty different in their features then there could also be a possibility of some producer making slightly differentiated products like like shampoo market where you see uh, oligopoly and uh, you see huge uh, sort of budgets that are spent in order to make their product completely sort of uh, different or make the product being advertised as something which has varied features so the nature of product can be identical can be uh, differentiated or can be highly differentiated uh, in an oligopoly industry the second key feature which actually results in oligopoly to become an oligopoly is basically the barriers to entry in most examples of oligopoly there are distinct barriers to entry usually the last scale production or the strong branding of the dominant firm uh, can result in this to happen like for example in the case of cola market coke and pepsi dominate the market and that they do so because of the strong advertising and brand that they have in the market Interdependence is the third feature that we would like to talk about. The key feature that is common in all oligopolies is that there is interdependence. Whereas in perfect competition and monopolistic competition, the firms are all too small relative to the size of the market to be able to influence the market. In oligopoly, there is a small number of large firms dominating, dominating the industry. So what happens is that these few firms need to be careful about their decision making. This interdependence means that the firms may, whenever they do any decision, let's say of price or of uh, quantity or of advertising, may need to account for the likely reaction of their competitors. Uh, inter interdependence also tends to make firms want to either collude so as to avoid any surprises or unexpected outcomes. So for example, let's say Coke and Pepsi may decide to lower price together um, and that could be collusion. Uh, or they can also sometimes compete uh, vigorously because they may not trust the other firm. This also means that the mutual interdependence and uh, uncertainty caused by having to take into account the possible uh, behavior of the rival means that unlike the other market structures like for example perfect competition monopoly or monopolistic competition there is not going to be a single model of equilibrium for a firm in oligopoly we will look at oligopoly's behavior and try to analyze how different behavior may lead to different equilibrium and different models because we are looking at both collusion or competition to happen 
Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.